Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to bring you an exciting little update on a new program we'll be releasing called D2R Lawn, or D2R LAN, however you prefer to pronounce that. Essentially, this is going to be a D2R Launch clone uh, that can be used for all UTCP players out there. Um, so I know with the recent release and uh, some of the manual uh, you know, setup process, uh, some people have been having issues with it. Um, and we'd also like to just improve things, uh, bring some of the quality of life controls and things like that that the single player um, you know, community has had for a while. So anyways, with all that out of the way, that's what we'll be covering today. So if you guys are liking this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe, helps everybody out, and be sure to check out the video description below for access to our Discord, website, Patreon, and some of the links or tools you'll need today. And with that out of the way, let's just jump right into getting it set up. So the first thing we'll do is just head over to our website. Uh, to do that, we can go to d2rmodding.com. You should see something like this. And then we can head over to the D2R Launch tab, and you'll see the listing for both D2R Launch and D2R LAN, um, depending on what you need. Uh, we'll get that uh, showcase, uh, you know, uh, demo video updated in time. Uh, but if we scroll just a little bit past that, uh, we can check out um, the download options here. Again, uh, what we're going to be talking about today is going to be D2R LAN. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that big download button here, and then we're going to get started on that. So I've already uh, done that, cheated here a little bit for time reasons, um, and when you get that single download, you should have a file like this, d2rlan underscore core files dot zip, and inside that zip we should have a single folder called d2rlan. So what I'd recommend doing is drag that folder out to your desktop or somewhere convenient for you um, that you don't have to worry about Windows permissions issues or something like that with. Um, once you've done that, we can go ahead and just open that folder, and you will see three smaller folders inside of that. And these are the three main components of the program uh, that make up the core files. Um, so you have the launcher itself, um, which will provide you all the quality of life options and you know easy integration with mods and stuff. Uh, then you have the stasher, which we also colloquially call the vault. Um, this is like an external uh, infinite storage program. Um, and then finally, we have like the updater. Uh, this is just a utility tool tool to help keep all the programs up to date for you um, so you don't have to manually you know replace things and do all that jazz. Um, just a real quick side note uh, on the stasher or the vault um, it has not been tested uh, for this build of the game um, so it is quite likely that some of the things will not work um, so just a big heads up there things may work just fine again it has not been tested so I would just use that at your own discretion uh, but anyways we're going to jump right into the actual launcher the meat of the video and explain uh, what we're doing here. Um, so you can essentially ignore all these uh, folders. It doesn't look as complicated as it is. These are all just for all the languages. And there's essentially two different programs included in this package. Um, you have the Beacon program, which is a program TC players can use to both advertise as well as view all the active TCP games. Um, it does require that everybody is using Beacon to, uh, again, advertise and display those. Um, but you can use that to see all the active games that are up. And then we have the launcher itself, detourland.exe. So what I'm going to do is what I'd recommend you do is just right-click the exe. And first, let's either select pin to taskbar or create short cut um, so that you don't have to browse to this location in the future uh, you know you can use the quick access um, so uh, go ahead and set that up and then we'll go ahead and open the program when you're ready all right so we'll let uh, windows security do its little quick scan real quick thing all right there we go and so when you first boot up the program, it's very likely you're going to see something like this. It's normal for all this to be blank, um, as we don't have any mods uh, installed or selected, anything like that yet. So the very first thing to do then to fix that is we're going to head to the Download New Mod button. From the drop down up top, we're just going to select Base TCP Files, since we don't have those installed yet. And we're going to go ahead and uh, install that. Um, now, a quick note as uh, this is going on, um, if you've already installed the manual version, uh, you're going to get a pop-up here in a second. Uh, this pop-up here, it's asking you if you'd like to transfer all your downloaded data from previously to this new install location. Um, so obviously, if you want to avoid downloading the 27 gigabytes of uh, game data, then you'll want to select a yes here um, so that you can transfer your files. I'm going to do both for you guys to show you how it works. So for now, I'm going to select no. We're going to pretend like I don't have anything. Um, and it's basically going to try and, and set that up for me. 
So as we can see, when I click no, it proceeds with the file download process. Now that window can take up to a minute. Um, it's usually not that long. As you can see, it only took about 10, 15 seconds, um, but you will need to wait for that to come up. And now, as you can see, it's gonna download the entirety of the game files. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few here. Um, so do expect this to take quite a bit of time, depending on your internet, how many people are downloading it, all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, I do wanna let you know that it has a resume capability. Um, so if it does error out or your computer shuts down halfway through, whatever goes on, um, you can just restart the process by doing the exact same thing again. Uh, you know, click download new mod, select base TC puff, base TCP files, etc. Um, and it'll just restart this process. Just one quick note on that, um, just so you don't get alarmed. If you do need to restart for some reason, it's going to start back at 0%. Um, however, the amount of files it will have left to do will also be halved, um, you know, if it crashed halfway through or something. So I don't want you to get alarmed if you see it at 0%. It's not actually restarting from the beginning. Um, it's just uh, just how it's displayed. Um, so anyways, we don't need to actually, you know, sit here and, and watch me download all this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and force close this. Uh, but obviously, normally, you guys would just let this finish and then uh, you'd have all the files, uh, you know, available when you're done. Um, to kind of simulate again, uh, I'm going to close this and pretend that um, I haven't done this before. Um, and we're going to simulate that uh, you do have uh, um, uh, data files to transfer over so you can see how that works real quick. So once more, we're going to run the program, going to click download new mod, base TCP files. We're pretending like I hadn't done this just previously. And then what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna select yes. I'm gonna tell it I do have data to transfer. Um, so I already have the folder selected, um, but as you can see, I'm selecting the data folder of my previous install, which contains these three folders, config, data, and indices. Um, so as long as this is the, the folder you're looking at, um, then that's the folder we want. So we're gonna select that. And then uh, there's no progress status right now, but it shouldn't take too long for you. Um, get about 20, 30 seconds, and we should see a pop-up box that let us know the extraction has been complete. And uh, we'll get things a little nicer as far as the, the status goes in the future. And there we go. So our extraction process is completed and the game is ready to go. Um, but obviously we don't actually have any uh, mods yet. The game is just now playable. So you can play the default uh, TCP mod that basically is just retail. Um, or you can download a uh, you know more advanced mod from the database or from a zip link uh, you know, for supported mods, etc. Um, I'm going to cheat slightly, um, just again for time reasons mostly. And we are going to go ahead and manually copy um, my mod files uh, over there uh, just so I don't have to wait for the download. So you'll notice um, with this install in addition to the three th sorry in addition to the three folders that the uh, file came with we now have a new folder called d2r and this is where the actual game is. Um, so we're going to go in here we're going to go into a mods we're going to again you won't need to manually do this you can just use the download button but I'm just trying to save a little bit of time so we're just going to copy and paste and pretend like I use that download button to download remodded and then we can show you some of the other features from there. All right, so we have our mod installed. Let's go ahead again, because I did it manually, the mod's gonna be kind of confused about the new mod. Um, so we're just gonna restart it to refresh that list. And you can now see the new mod appear in the list here. And when I select that, you'll notice the icon, the news, all that kind of stuff updates for it. And now we are essentially ready to go. We can click play mod and we can start enjoying everything right now. Um, I do, however, want to just go over a couple quick things on the launcher to get you going properly, uh, make things a little easier on you. Um, so obviously you have all sorts of uh, startup options and things like here. Feel free to change your language, screen size, enable whatever uh, kind of features you want, etc. Um, Beacon is that program I mentioned earlier. You do have quick access to it here in the vault, or I'm sorry, in the launcher. Um, so just make sure Detour is open uh, and then click that button and that'll start the advertisement uh, and open that up for you. Um, and then if we go to the options section, there's basically two important sections I'd like to show you, the quality of life options. Here's where you can set all sorts of uh, 
again, quality of life options how you'd like. Um, so one of the things I recommend is make sure you have auto backup set. Um, if you ever need to restore a character due to poofed items or a power outage or something, uh, you have that ability. And then the monster display mode um, for their stats. I personally like using the advanced display mode so I can see all the resistances and HP and stuff. Um, but again, you know, control this kind of stuff how you'd like. Um, and then lastly, uh, we want to take a look at this hotkeys section. Um, if you'd like to take advantage of all the new custom commands and things like that that are available, um, you can set up hotkeys for all of those here, as well as edit your, your custom commands in the list. Um, so just keep in mind with these custom commands, um, it's very easy to ruin your experience, so obviously use them at your own discretion, um, but we did want them available, you know, for you guys if you guys are doing dev, dev testing or, you know, just want to mess around with a buddy or whatever. So um, anyways, go ahead and set that up there. Have fun. And then lastly, you know, you can uh, take a look at some of our other links for uh, example, the community section where you can take a look at our Discord wiki, quick access to my files. Um, so if you need access to your save files, error logs, anything like that, you can go through all that. Uh, anyways, enough yammering. We're going to assume that you've done everything you wanted and you're ready to play the mod. So we're just going to hit that big old green button and we're going to let that do its thing. And it should start booting up. I do have it booting windowed right now just because uh, I was doing some multi-boxing and stuff. Um, so bear with me. But as you can see here, uh, at least with this mod, you know, we have access to our TCP button here. And we can go ahead and host ourselves a game and get right on going. Um, and so that is the uh, basic setup process of getting everything going for Remodded um, and for any other mod really uh, with the D2R Lawn. And as you can see, because we're using D2R Lawn, all of our share tabs are automatically unlocked and stuff. Um, so you guys should be all set to go there. Um, so I hope this has been uh, a helpful tutorial on how to get everything going. And uh, stay tuned definitely for more improvements and updates in the future. Thanks for sticking around. Have a great day. Bye.